Optimus Prime is a black man. This poem is dedicated to all the cool black cartoon characters that were never fully acknowledged, like Heathcliff and Friends, Panther from the Thundercats, and the Pink Panther rocking shades with that cool ass walk. For the whole cast of The Lion King, and that joint smoking munchie having pup named Scooby Doo, who's always baked for the monsters, sacrificed like black characters in scary movies. This poem is for Orko, Orko and Blackface with the big O on his chest, whose best friend was a blonde haired, blue eyed white man named He Man, Masters of the Universe, who reminded brown children all over the world every day that he had the power. This poem is for Daffy Duck, whose big rubbery lips were always being shot at and smacked around by Elma Fudd and the Yosemite Sam, a plantation owner who just so happened to look like the General Lee. This poem is for Speedy Gonzalez, the Mexican mouse, quickly running back and forth across the border to steal chunks of American cheese. For Wally Coyote, who chased the roadrunner as if he were the American dream, Acme and Ikea will not save you, brother. This poem is for the missing Africans in Tarzan, Seinfeld, and friends for Mr. T, a black man still in chains for King Kong, who was destroyed for trying to date a white woman. This poem is for the maids, butlers, cooks, and nannies left off of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, Dynasty, and Pine Valley. For all the token booth clerks, postal workers, and crossing guards that get left off of television year after year as we watch Hill Street Blues, NYPD Blue, Cops, Chips, SWAT, Starsky and Hutch, Monk, CSI, LA Law, Law and Order, Law and Order's a Special Victims Unit, Law and Order Criminal Intent as if cops and lawyers are the only two jobs in this world. This poem is for Fred Sant for dealing with America's junk, for James and Florida Evans for showing us that although we was po, good times was what's happening in the ghetto before the Jeffersons moved on up and the Cosbys moved into Brooklyn as if Reaganomics had finally trickled down to the hood. This poem is because they killed the father from good times, damn, damn, and damn if they ain't replace him with the Papadopoulos and Philip Drummond. This poem is because they beat, beat, beat Kunta Kente until he said his name was Jordy. Took his sight and made him take orders from Captain Picard on the bridge. So this poem is for Optimus Prime, a real black man whose arch nemesis was a big white robot who turned into a gun named Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. A gang of robots who used up all the resources on their planet and decided to go from planet to planet stealing all of the natural resources.